I'm Julia. And I'm Nick. And this is our TED Talk on the Abilene Paradox and Groupthink. In 1974, Dr. Jerry Harvey and three other family members embarked on an 85-kilometer road trip to Abilene, Texas in a 1958 Buick without any air conditioning. Not only was the temperature scorching 40 degrees Celsius, the entire drive was through a dust storm. Only when they returned home did they discover nobody actually wanted to go to Adeline. Each person had agreed because they thought the other really wanted to go. Dr. Harvey said later, Here, we were four reasonable, sensible people who had just taken a 170 kilometer trip across the godforsaken desert in furnace-like temperatures through a dust storm to eat unpalatable food at a hole-in-the-wall cafeteria in Abilene, Texas, when none of us really wanted to go. In fact, we had just done the opposite of what we really wanted to do. Today, the Abilene Paradox is used to describe any communication breakdown in which members of a group don't want to rock the boat. In their desire to minimize conflict, each mistakenly believes that his or her own preferences are counter to the group and therefore does not raise any objections. This story is taken from Harvey's own writings and demonstrates the Abilene Paradox which was invented by him after this trip. So the Abilene Paradox is defined as a situation where a group makes a collective decision that is counter to the thoughts and feelings of its individual members. And Jerry Harvey describes the Abilene Paradox as a concept when organizations frequently take actions in contradiction to what they really want to do and therefore defeat the very purposes they're actually trying to achieve. This is an example of the Abilene Paradox in an organizational setting where the CEO receives positive responses from all board members, but each of them is actually thinking no in various ways. The paradox may be driven because individuals believe that they will experience negative attitudes or feelings if they speak up on a topic. And it also occurs because human beings have a natural aversion to going against the feelings of the group and they want to conform socially. So overall, it's to minimize conflict, to not raise objections, and to not rock the boat. The concept of groupthink is similar to that of the Adeline Paradox. Groupthink is a situation when an organizational group has a certain way of doing things, and they do not want to disrupt this method, nor do they want outsiders to disrupt the method, and they are so rigid on keeping the norm and keeping the status quo that inefficiency can occur. Groupthink is not something that happens in everyday life, but this rigid behavior can lead to poor decision making. An organizational example of groupthink is the Bay of Pigs invasion of 1961, the failed U.S. attempt to overthrow Castro's Cuban government. In 1960, Cuban exiles were trained by the CIA to attack Cuba. When the U.S. attacked, they were met by Cuban military. The attack failed. This is an example of groupthink because JFK's top advisors were not willing to speak against the bad decisions that were made. At one meeting specifically, Kennedy asked for a vote, and many advisors voted yay, simply because they thought others would vote the same. It's important to recognize these two concepts to find a solution. If leaders know about these concepts, then they can be avoided. And leaders must realize it's important to have all team members voice their opinions and be heard, even if it can disrupt balance in a flow of a team. Groupthink can lead to poor decision making, which can hurt the entire organization and it's important for leaders to realize this before it actually occurs. First, it is crucial to be aware of the possibility that these concepts can occur and be aware of their detrimental consequences to any organization. Most importantly, it is imperative to have a devil's advocate. Whenever a decision is being made, there must be someone to say the opposite, simply to challenge the standing opinion. This allows for other options, even when considered unpopular. Also, it is important to allow for openness to criticism and for different opinions. Outsider experts should be consulted in their decision making. A way to avoid groupthink in an organizational setting is through the nominal group technique, which is a team process used to generate creative ideas where team members individually write down ideas and then take turns sharing them with the group. Lastly, it is imperative to have more active leaders able to encourage others to express their opinions. Thank you for being attentive to our TED Talk. We hope you enjoy the rest of the presentations.